So it's happening again, round two of the stock market crash 2020. So the beer thing is on the rise and we are all doomed. And we should all sell our stocks right now. Or should we? <laughs> well in short, no, you should not be selling your stocks. And later in the video, I will explain. And also I will explain how to capitalize on the stock market crash of 2020 in the UK and across the world. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ewan and on this channel, we talk about personal finance and investing in the stock market. So if that's something that tickles your fancy, then please, please, please do subscribe and hit that like button because it does mean a lot and it does help out the channel. But remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my own opinion. So please, please, please do your own research before investing your capital. As I speak, there is a stock market crash going on right now. And for me, there is a lot of red in my portfolio, which is not something I'm used to seeing, but it does happen. But overall, my portfolio is looking fairly good. I'm still in the green, so I'm happy with that. But there's definitely some opportunity to hunt up some deals like the warrior that I am. I just realized if you're not following my Instagram, then you're not gonna get that joke. So go follow my Instagram. <laughs> Anyway, Tom Rogers at The Motley Fool believes that if you are investing in the UK market or the FTSE 100 currently, then you are able to take advantage of this opportunity. And you could potentially see once in a lifetime profits from investing in the FTSE 100 and FTSE 100 company. And I agree. Personally, although I'm invested in the FTSE 100 and some FTSE 100 companies, I think I've been sleeping on them a little bit. The reason for this is because I was mainly focused on investing in the S&P 500 and the VUSA ETF. This is because I believe that the S&P 500 has a lot of large companies that are way ahead of anything in the FTSE 100. And because these companies are so large, they are more likely to be able to cope with dodgy presidents and that beer thing that is going around. So that's why I went heavily on them. But now the FTSE 100 is down at similar levels as to it was in March, then is it an opportunity for me to get some deals that I missed out on in March and capitalize on all the fearfulness that is going round at the moment? So what am I gonna do and what should you consider doing to capitalize on this stock market crash? So for starters, in my case, buying, buying, buying is the only option right now because as the great Warren Buffett says, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. And I think it's time to be a bit greedy and get involved in all the action. <laughs> and I think that selling is definitely not on the cards. It's definitely not an option. I think there are only a few handful of reasons why you should ever sell your investments or your investment in a company. So the first one being if the fundamentals of that business have actually changed. So for example, if the profit and the revenue are slowly declining and you no longer think that this is a sound investment or as Warren Buffett likes to call them, a great company. This can definitely be difficult, especially if you're a new investor. But what I'd say is that you don't wanna be running away and cutting your losses at the first sign of trouble. Because for example, if you did that with Apple when they were struggling in the 80s and when they had three revenue declining years in the 90s, then you would have missed out on a huge, huge, huge benefit from the Apple stock. Because now they are one of the biggest companies in the world and you would definitely have regretted that if you'd sold at that point. But obviously it does depend on your goals and how long you are willing to wait for your returns, if that makes sense. In this situation with everything going on, if the fundamentals of the business have stayed exactly the same and the stock price has only taken a dip due to external factors like the beer thing that's going on, then this would be the absolutely worst time to sell. It's actually a really good buying opportunity. It's time to buy. The second reason that you might need to sell is if the company starts behaving unethically. And I think if that doesn't align with your values, then it might be best to take the loss because you don't really want to be associated with a company that's not the same value orientated person as yourself, if that makes sense. The third reason would be if you need that money for an emergency, like a really, really bad emergency, I would definitely give you a pass and I would allow you to sell your shares if you really, really needed to. Obviously you should have your emergency fund already set up, so three to six months worth of expenses just in case you lose your job or you get kicked out of your apartment, blah, blah, blah. For example, if you burnt your house down by accident and the insurance wouldn't cover it and you had your six months worth of expenses and you needed some extra money to move into a new place or cover all the items that were lost in the fire, for example, blah, 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 then I may just let you off because 
that is definitely an emergency. And the final reason I would let you off if you decided to sell your investments is if you've reached that financial independence number and you've got enough money in your account to live off. So for example, if you're using the 4% rule, which I mentioned in my last video, so go check that out, that is definitely an acceptable reason to sell your investments. Well, that's a lot of reasons that I did not really anticipate for selling your investments. But in my personal opinion, during a stock market crash, often the underlying business does not actually really get affected, just the stock market does dip because people get scared, fearful. So if that is the case and you've worked that out, then there is definitely a good opportunity to jump into these companies and jump into these ETFs, blah, 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 and make some serious gains from it. But obviously you need to make sure that you do your own research because as Egret would say, you know nothing, you and Copeland. <laughs> So anyway, that leads me onto my plan. So if you've been watching me for some time, then you know that I like getting free stuff and I especially like getting free trading two and two shares. <laughs> and currently I have just over two grand in free shares on trading two and two. So thank you to whoever signed up. Thank you. <laughs> if you haven't signed up for trading two and two and got your free share though, link is in the description. Anyway, I keep getting distracted. My plan is to buy, 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 buy and buy some more. <laughs> because I really want to capitalize on the dip that is currently happening. I was thinking earlier that I should just invest all of my free shares into Apple and see what happens, but that just gives me shivers and I know that as soon as I invest it, it would just drop 20% or something. So don't fancy it. So what I'm gonna do is invest 100 pounds every single day into my portfolio. 50 pounds will go into the FTSE 100 ETF and 25 pounds each into each pie. So one is the by Pa Felicia Pa, and the other one is just my millionaire pie. And I'll probably do this for around 10 days, and then I'll reassess my situation and see what's happening in the market. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk through it here. So we've got three funds of 100 pounds. So let's jump down here, and we will jump in and invest 50 into this, and it'll give us just over nine shares. So review order, market, boom, let's go. Sorted that, and then the other 50 pounds we will do into our pies. So let's go over to the pie section. So millionaire pie, invest. Let's go 50 pounds. What do you, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Investing, sorted, done. Go on to the next one. And we're in the pie Felicia pie. So we'll put another, oh, I didn't want to do 50, did I? Sugar. I figured out what happened there. I basically sold 9.08 shares instead of buying them. So that did not go well. <laughs> so what I've done is I've basically bought 13 back. So I think I invested too much into one of my pies. Absolutely shocking. Um, this is what happens when you do it live. So obviously that didn't go quite to plan, but the reason that I'm actually doing this and doing hundred pound per day is I don't really know what's gonna happen over the next few days. I don't know if it's gonna plummet or it's gonna go up or down or up or down. So I'm just gonna consistently invest hundred pounds for the next 10 days or so, so that I can basically meet in the middle. So that's what dollar cost averaging or pound cost averaging. So the plan is it will hopefully reduce my cost basis as it slowly goes down. I'll be investing more and more and more. Maybe in 10 days time, it'll be rock bottom. We just don't know, we just don't know. So this is the best way to do it, in my personal opinion. I could just put all my money in and then because it's long term, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just gonna put in 100 pounds every single day and hopefully it pays off. <laughs> and as I said earlier, the FTSE 100 is at a six month low. And this is probably because the potential for lockdowns in the UK and whole of Europe actually going into lockdown. So France and Italy in potential lockdown and also Brexit is looming as well. So there's a lot of things that are affecting the UK market and the market overall. So there's definitely some buying opportunities out there. So in a few of my past videos, I was saying that the free shares were going towards my leave my job fund, which is still true, but I just wanted to take advantage of the dip and it is looking less likely that I'm gonna leave my job fairly soon just because of the uncertainty around everyone's job, my girlfriend's job, blah, blah. So I just wanna be careful and not jump ship too early and then regret it and have to get a job because that'd be pretty bad. And as much as I'd love to do YouTube full time, I just need my revenue to come up a little bit in order to sort of make it viable. As you know, because I share all my income on this channel, my income from the YouTube channel is really, really good, but I just need that extra bit just to feel a bit more comfortable about doing it because the volatility of the, the markets and the volatility of YouTube are pretty much the same at the moment. 
because you never know what's going to happen. You never know if advertisers will stop advertising on YouTube videos and that will be a significant portion of my revenue. So we'll see, maybe down the line. So I will continue to make videos and work my normal job. Anyway, that's enough about me. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and you've got some value out of it. If you have, hit that like button, comment down below and subscribe because I'm trying to hit 10K by the end of the year. And at this rate, we are not going to make it. So it would be nice if we could. So please hit that big red button. It'd be really kind of you. <laughs> oh, I can't wink, lol. Anyway, I'm not a millionaire, but I'm trying to help you become one. So, peace. And I think it's time to be a bit greedy. And I think it's time to be a bit greedy. And and I, th and I think it's time, and I think it's time to be a bit greedy and eat some lunch. If the fundament, for example, right now in this situation, if the stock market, for example, right now in this, in this situation right now, if the, in this situation, in this situation right now with everything going on, if, in this situation, in this situation with everything going on,